Good afternoon, this is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding, here to discuss or to introduce uh, our international tax blog and, and what we do here. Uh, at Golding & Golding, we focus exclusively on offshore voluntary disclosure, um, expatriation, offshore penalty abatement. Um, we love writing here, and so we will actively update our international tax blog as often as we can. Sometimes it updates a little less during tax season, of course. Um, but the goal of our international tax blog is to focus on the offshore tax responsibilities for individuals. Uh, issues such as treaty analysis, audits, reporting, um, but primarily information used to assist individuals, estates and trusts, small businesses with reducing, avoiding, and abating offshore fines and penalties. So maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe someone was issued a penalty, uh, maybe they realize they're out of compliance, but a penalty hasn't been issued yet. Uh, our international tax blog will generally summarize in, in great detail uh, recent cases about FBAR, recent cases about FACA, I would say 95% of the time these are civil, uh, but recently uh, there has been some movement toward criminal enforcement of FBAR and FACA. We try to provide updated information about different rulings and revenue procedures, and we like to provide some in-depth case study examples to help you, the client, put some information into context. Um, at our firm, our main goal is to bring individuals, trusts and estates, small businesses, partnerships into offshore tax compliance. The way we do that is through the different voluntary disclosure programs. There's the OVDP, which ended in 2018, but then the IRS expanded the traditional voluntary disclosure program, which was generally used for domestic related issues. Um, and so starting in 2019 going forward, people will refer to it as new OVDP or ex expanded VDP, voluntary disclosure program. There's also the streamlined procedures, AKA streamlined filing compliance procedures. Those can be broken down into the streamlined domestic and the streamlined foreign. There's uh, different delinquency procedures. There's a delinquent international information return submission procedures, and there's a delinquent FBAR submission procedures, and there's always reasonable cause. We try to provide some examples and some case studies to give you an idea of who may qualify, um, under what circumstance and, and tips and what to be careful of. Um, obviously, <clears throat> each person's uh, individual situation has their own set of facts and circumstances, problems that go along with it, but at the end of the day, there will be a common thread that sometimes runs through some of the submissions. We try to help out the general public by giving them the information. Um, we also have a very expansive international tax law library at goldinglawyers.com. And if you want to, you can always schedule a reduced fee uh, initial consultation with an attorney at our firm. My name is Sean Golding with Golding & Golding. That was an introduction to our international tax blog. Um, enjoy the rest of your day.